Hello and welcome to the video. This is a very quick video on our friend the Team Black Sheep Crossfire system. Now I already have a complete series on the TBS Crossfire and this video is part of it. I've just updated this receiver to 2.4. So it's on, as I'm recording this, the latest and greatest version. I've just updated the receivers as well. And in fact, it's a cool feature now from 2.3 versions of the software onwards, where you're not gonna to have to press the bind button anymore in order to update the firmware. That's gonna be automatic so that uh, if this is hidden away inside a plane or something else where you can't get to the bind button, you can still get access to all of the goodness. Let me just uh, show you how in this particular video you set the fail safe because I've had a couple of questions about it. So there's two places in the menu that you can set the fail safe. Again, I'm using a full size crossfire, powering it from the USB cable. Uh, you could do this if it was in the back of the radio or you could use the Crossfire Lua scripts if you're running something like uh, QX7 or one of the other compatible radios. But what you need to do is to be aware that there are actually two places where it talks about fail safe in the menus. Now to access the menu on the big Crossfire, you press and hold the middle button for a few seconds and there we are. And you'll see that there's actually two things. First one is where it says set fail safe and then if you go into the actual sub menu for the receiver that you're using, there's also fail safe mode. So let me just explain the difference between the two. Set fail safe is just recording the position of the sticks and controls that you want to be used as the fail safe position. So in a plane, that's probably with the control surfaces at their neutral position, and it might be at the throttle cut as well. And it may in a quadcopter, be turning off the throttle and maybe popping it something like angle mode to try and get it to land something like gracefully. So to do that you just press and set fail safe and it will record the channel positions of all the channels that are coming through on the PPM or CRSF connection to the radio and then the other thing is you can individually set how you want each receiver to work and the two options in 2.4 are to either cut, so there's no signals being sent at all, and in fact some uh, flight controllers like to hear no input at all because then it's absolutely crystal clear that something horrendous has happened to the radio, and in some of them you like they like to have specific values. So if we go into the RX diversity menu and go down, we can choose the failsafe mode. At the moment it's on failsafe position, so if there is a break between the connection of the receiver and the crossfire system itself it'll just send out those channel positions that we've just stored but if i go over here and go press up and down the other option is to cut and that would mean that in the event of a disconnection between both the system it would send out no channel values at all i personally like it on fail safe position so hopefully that's interesting for those of you that have watched the crossfire system and had a question about how the fail safe worked If you found that video useful or like the content, then please hit the like and subscribe button down below. If you want to go the extra step, you can become a Patreon of the Painless360 channel and help provide support for what I do here. All the videos created here are put into playlists, so if you're interested in a particular topic, have a look at the playlist, and they all are organised in there to make them easier to use. If you're not sure if there's a video for your particular problem or topic you want to know more about, then add Painless360 to the Google search term that you're interested in, and that should find the video, article, or content about the particular thing that you're interested in having a look at.